Alright, so now you've already done the challenge where you have it stay a certain distance away from an object. But before we did it with ifs, and you might have even had to adjust it still from here, to make it so it didn't keep like moving back and forth and not actually stop. So now what I'm going to show you is another way we can do this challenge, but do it in a much smoother way to where the robot wouldn't move, wiggle back and forth quite as much. So we'll go ahead, we'll create a new program. Uh, we need to do the same motors and sensor setup. So I have my left drive motor in port 1, my right drive motor in port 6, and I need to reverse the right motor. And then the distance sensor is in port 7. So I'll get that set up there. Let's see, distance, there we go. So now we've got our sensor set up. Um, like normal, we still need to have the while true loop. So that way this code runs forever and we'll be able to actually see what happens. But now what we're going to do is rather than going through and having the if statements, we're going to use something called proportional control. What this does is it looks to see how far away it is and it adjusts its speed based off of this. So we do a pair of set motor speeds for the left and right, and we set them to this right here, which is get distance value minus 200. So 200 is our target value. And what happens is, let's say we're sitting at 150 millimeters. So if we do the math, we're at 150, so we're too close, so we need to back up. So if I would type in 150 here, 150 minus 200, that would have us move forward, or would have us back up at speed 50. So that would have us move farther away, that way we don't run into the object. So this would have us back up. Let's say we we're at 250 millimeters away. Again, if we do the math, we'll be at positive 50, and now we're going to move closer, so we try to get to it. Um, but, so this all sounds very similar to like our if statements that we had, but it does have one nice advantage. What if we're at 201? If we're at 201, we really don't need to move that fast in order to get us to that last perfect spot. With our if statements, we're limited to only moving at negative 20 speed or 20 speed. With this, when we get really close, what we do is we actually end up slowing down. Because we're at 201, we'll move at speed 1. Once we get to 200, we're moving at speed 0, so our robot stops. And let's say we went a little bit too far past, now we're at 199. We now move backwards at negative 1. And so then our robot will just constantly be adjusting the speed that it moves at. So that way it doesn't go past its target um, distance by going really, really fast, and your robot ends up being much smoother, and it does a much better job of actually staying the proper distance away from another rope, from an object. This is called proportional control, because our speed is based off of how far away we are, or it's proportional to how far off we are. So this is a really useful feature in programming. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys learned how to do it.